Today I am going to teach you a lesson The Summer of the Beautiful White Horse by William Saryan. Introduction It's a story of two Armenian boys, Aram and Murad. Aram and Murad were two poor Armenian boys. They were cousins and they belonged to the Garuglanian tribe. This tribe was famous for its honesty and integrity. Aram was nine years old. The world is like a happy, mysterious dream for him. Murad was a 13 years old boy with crazy streak, means he had bad temperament. He was adventurous and always ready to take risks. He was bold and confident, but he meant no harm to anyone. He was kind and generous and he didn't harm to anyone. And he had a way with animals, birds and even people too. The narrator recalls a time when he was only a nine years old. Murat came to his house at 4 a.m. and woke him up by tapping of the window. So his cousin Murad was sitting on a beautiful white horse. Aram could not believe what he saw. They were too poor to buy a horse. And he could not imagine Murad stealing a horse. All the members of the Garuglanian family or the tribe were proud for their honesty for the last 11 centuries. And he could not imagine Murat slinging a horse. But still, Aram did not want to miss the chance of riding a horse. He passionately longed to ride. So, he convinced himself that Murad had stolen the horse only for the purpose of riding it. It was not stealing until he sold it away. Aram quickly jumped onto the horse behind Murad. In less than three minutes, they were on Olive Avenue. The two boys were enjoyed a long ride together. Then Murad wanted to ride the horse alone for five minutes. He raced the horse across the a field of dry grass to an irrigation ditch. The narrator also expressed his desire to ride alone. When the horse did not move, Murad asked him to kick it. Murad also told him to hurry up as they could not risk getting caught. Aram could not control the horse and it ran to Benoit and leaped over the vines. So they have to search the horse and it took Murad half an hour before he could bring the horse back. They left the horse in the barn of a deserted Menward and returned home. The Ned was very happy and he ate a heavy breakfast. Uncle Khosrov, he was a big built man with large moustache and a heavy voice. He had a bad temper and get irritated easily. His all time irritating dialogue, it's no harm. Pay no attention to it. He is quite impatient. John Bairo, he is an Assyrian farmer, he is a non Armenian. So he is very sad and he told that his horse had been stolen last month when he came to Aram's home.
Aram understood that Murad had stolen John Bairo's horse. He informed Murad about it. By that time, Murad was tending to the broken wings of a young robin. The narrator told Murad not to return the horse until he learned to ride. Actually, Aram didn't want to return the horse so soon. And riding lessons does continued for the next two weeks. So, they did not return the horse and the riding lessons continued for the next two weeks. One day, they came across John Bairo when he is going to the town. Bairo checked the horse, looked into the mouth and found it. It was the same horse that stolen one month ago. Actually, Bairo recognized his horse. So, he looked into the mouth of the horse and find that it was his horse. But at the same time, he did not doubt the boys as their family was famous for their honesty. So, he said that the horse must be a twin of his horse. This incident shocked their conscience. They suffered from the pang of conscience. Next day, early in the morning, they took the horse to John by Byro's vineyard. They returned the horse to its rightful owner and left the place. John Byro was happy to get his horse back. He showed the narrator's mother the horse that he had been sto stolen and now returned. At the same time, he was very surprised to find the horse stronger and better tempered also. This is the story of the beautiful the summer of the beautiful white horse. If you like the video, do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.